beautiful people welcome back to my channel well welcome if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos my name is Elisa and in this video we're going to talk about what Italian girls think about foreign boys I already made a video about what Italian boys think about foreign girls so if you're curious and you want to check that out just click right above here or I'll try to remember and leave it in the description below as well. So this format is very simple. I ask my friends and sometimes even their friends, friends, my friends, friends, um, to give me some opinions and thoughts and maybe tell me about their experience with foreign boys. So okay, so let's start with my friend Elle who talks about American guys. She says that American guys are very old-fashioned and are also considered old-fashioned from girls who live in America. And by the way, I'm talking about North America and in particular the northern, northern part of North America. So she told me that there was this guy that she went on a date with and this guy wanted to pay for everything. And this was like, they, they didn't really know each other. So it was like a first date with two people who didn't know each other. So the guy wanted to pay for everything and she eventually had to impose to pay at least for a coke. Canadians are actually very nice and polite. They probably do that with everyone, so that makes it like for people who don't know, like for us Italians who may not know that, um, it might be mistaken for like an interest, you know? Like she thought this guy was hidden on her because, you know, she was working at this place and he just went by the, her door and knocked and say, oh, hi, by the way, I am, you know, and he introduced himself. And, you know, she thought that was very nice from him and it's not something that other people had done. So she thought, she thought that he might actually, you know, wanted to well, go out with her or something, but no, he was just being completely Canadian. That's very cute. <laughs> and she also told me that Chinese guys are not very gentlemen at all <laughs> and they don't have this you know this is not necessarily a bad thing but they don't have this like whole gender thing um, you know ladies first and this kind of stuff so um, they they actually sometimes can for us Italians they can be perceived as a bit rude um, but I mean I know that's just a different culture it's completely fine I'm just telling you what we can perceive them as. I don't have many opinions on Chinese people actually. I should, should ask more friends about that. Let's go on. My friend M talks about French guys. That's, um, that's um, um, I really don't know how to put it in a polite way. She said they have sort of a parallel. They form like clusters and they don't um, not very open to meeting people from different cultures, so other countries in general. So they, you know, yeah, they tend to be amongst themselves, amongst like French people. Germans, they tend to be a little shy, but they know how to have fun too and how to be friendly too. So it's just, you know, at first. If you don't really know them, they may seem a bit shy and a bit cold, but actually they, are, they I mean, they can be pretty fun. Spanish guys are completely, uh, you know, everybody says that about Spanish guys. They're friendly and they make you feel comfortable even if you don't know them, you know, even, you know, if you just met them because they actually very, very open and very, you know, they want, yeah, they're fun, cool, chill. My friend M said that Americans tend to be amongst themselves too, but not as much as the French guys. So they're like more open than the French guys. My friend V also talks about Spanish guys. Everybody knows a Spanish guy at least, or Spanish guys. Um, and she says that um, it seems like sometimes they're hitting on you, but they're not. They just give lots of compliments naturally. It's just their, their attitude and to girls. And so, you know, some, a Spanish guy may come to you and say, oh, you look so beautiful today, or, you know, you have such a sexy name, but actually they're not trying to hit on you. It's just, uh, it's just how they are. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and she says that Germans are very, like, very um, stiff. How do you say, like, cold? Um, and a bit, 
detached, I guess. Most of them, again, not all of them, she tends to, she, she cares to, you know, to point out that she's not talking about every German, but like the majority of them uh, tend to be, uh, tend to have a parallel as well, as my other friend said about the French guys. Yeah, we, we mean Italian girls, yeah, we're honest, we say what we think. Then I have my friend S who says that um, she has like shocking news for my, for my fellow Italian My fellow Italian And she says that outside Europe, so in particular she talks about Americans, Canadians and Australians and she says that these uh, guys, they don't kiss with their tongue Yeah, I know, I, 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 when she told me I was like are you sure? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, you know, in case you didn't know, like here in Italy, but I think also in the rest of Europe, it's uh, it's pretty normal when you when you're with a guy, you know, to kiss with your tongue. Um, but apparently, not in the U.S. and Canada and Australia. And also, she says that like when they ask you out, if you go out for lunch, it's at twelve. If you go out for dinner, it's at like five thirty-ish, six. 6.30ish if you're lucky, but yeah, I mean, we know that. We, if, you, if you've been around um, this channel for a while, I mean, no surprise that us Italians, we have dinner and lunch later. It's probably, our times are probably more similar to the Spanish people. Then we have my friend F. She talks about Arabs, and she's the first one, because I had no other girls talking about that, but she specifies that these guys that she met um, were actually, you know, they were wealthy people, so they had lots of money and they like to show that off. So they wanted you to know, as a girl, they wanted you to know that they had money, so they wanted you not to spend a penny, a penny, not to spend a cent, and they wanted to pay for everything, so they, they basically didn't let her pay and they, you know, they were very, very kind and nice to her and they didn't let her go, you know, go back home alone or, you know, in certain places alone that were, you know, um, ca caring, caring, I think that's the word. And she also talks about Germans and she said that they are generally pretty cold when, when studying, so when you're like in a university environment, but if you meet them outside of that environment, they actually know how to, you know, how to have fun. So, like she said in particular, this person, she met him outside and he was a completely different person. So, he, yeah, there was this, like, shift between, like, study time, university time and, um, you know, having fun time. I wanted to include this um, from my friend C because she, she actually wrote a very nice thing about Spanish guys and in particular this guy um, that she had a crush on and let me read you what she said. My experience with Spanish guys made me realize that yes, they are absolutely how you imagine them, like in the songs. They suffer, they hurt, they struggle for love, but they do all of this with such a careless mind they dance, they drink, they sing their hearts out. Between friends and sangria, they find a way to warm each other's heart. During my Erasmus in Paris, side note, Paris guys hardly ever make the first move. I had a serious crush on a Spanish guy. I was sitting in a university courtyard and he came close to me without an apparent reason. And he said, I saw you and I thought I wanted to know you. We felt very close since the beginning, but he made me understood that he made me understand, sorry, that he was allergic to bonds. And how would I blame him? So after I'd been seeing him chasing after a different girl every night, at the end of my Erasmus, he dedicated a song to me, titled "Quanto me duele," which means "How it hurts," and he told me that was for me, because I was the most important person that he met in Paris. I was expecting an overly sad song, L'Agna Infinita in Italian. Instead, I found myself singing that song out loud, losing myself in the guitar and in the chores, jumping and dancing around. After I had been listening to his psychosis for a year, I finally understood. 
They mess their own lives up and then they hurt for that, but they don't do it on purpose. But they believe in this, like in Enrique Iglesias' songs. It's a light, honest pain, almost enjoyable. After sending me this song, he texted me, Para que suframos juntos? As if that was the most beautiful thing in the world. After months with a Spanish guy, I became a little Spanish too. I think this is so sweet and thank you so much for sending me this because that, that's like a very precious and I think also useful for if there's any Spanish guy out there, that's a very useful experience to hear from an Italian girl. Okay guys, I think that was all I wanted to share with you for this video, all of the opinions, all of my friends' opinions. Let me know what you think about those and let me know if you have, you know, if you think these are true, these are not true. Um, explain your opinion, always in a polite way, please. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you have any requests, please leave a comment letting me know. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you very soon with another video. Ciao!